Hey guys, it's Tony W. Normally, I spend a lot of time in my car. I usually spend about an hour or two charging my car, but I really don't want to modify my infotainment system, you know, because I don't want to avoid the warranties or anything. But you could totally add a larger screen to your car or just watch it from your, you know, your smartphone, like my Samsung Note 20. I added a 13 inch monitor on top of my infotainment system so I could actually watch movies and stuff. The reason why I picked 13 inches is because it's not big enough so that it's, you know, it's too hindering. There, you get this in 15 or 13. I got it in 13 because it's nice and portable and light and it comes with a sleeves. So it's kind of like a small notebook computer or tablet. Of course, you could totally just use a tablet instead, but the tablets don't have inputs like this thing does. So I really want to just use my cell phone to um, have the content as well as play movies or maybe even use it as my uh, laptop secondary screen or something like that and work in my car. So this is very, very convenient because it comes with a nice stand. It's all magnetic, so it just sticks to the, the back of this thing. And you basically fold it out so you can actually use this, you know, to view it vertically. It comes with all the cables as well. Like it only has an HDMI, it has an HDMI mini in and also a USB-C in so it can talk to your computers and also a, a power for USB-C. So there it's on my car on the dash and I basically wedge it right there in front on top of the, my infotainment screen. As you can see, there's two wires coming out. One of the wires is actually going to my um, Samsung Note 20 and the USB-C talks to it and it sees it and basically projects a secondary screen onto that. You can use that as an extension screen or whatever, but it basically projects the image there. There's also the HDMI input that you could connect other fun toys like the Xbox or whatever to later. I'll show you in a bit. And you know, you could basically have a huge screen to watch a movie in, in your car while you're waiting for an hour or two for your car to charge. You could also power this with the car's onboard uh, 1.5 amp or two amp um, USB plug and it's just enough power to power it and it's great, so convenient. And it takes any uh, USB to USB-C as an input for a thing, so it's pretty cool. Please note that you are using battery power from your car, so it's, it says 13.3 volts, and that's the battery at 14.6 is actually meant for when it's actually charging. So you might be draining down your battery while you're doing this. And stay tuned for other videos for like the Xbox One, where I'm gonna put, show you how to basically DIY the Xbox One into your car. If you're gonna wait for hours in your car, you might also have a fun entertainment as well. Anyways, very cool, more DIYs to come, and. Thanks for watching guys, this is Tony Debbie. I hope this video was helpful to you. Bye bye.